know that sound anywhere. Where's the uh? We got Where's the fit in the room? Inspect this and make sure that we didn't bring no brake clean. No, that's fine. I just uh. Want to put grease in? No, I want to make sure. It's more than likely because that track was replaced and it just stretched and they didn't know to to regrease it. The salesperson did not tell them to check it. How are you? Pretty good. It's hurt. So, do you know what? The answer is going to be no because I, I don't know anything about these. <laughs> he videos. says the answer is going to be no. I I said, I'm, no a I'm buying this for my, my use here. I know nothing about the tractors or how they operate. In fact, um, when the guy brought it out, I had to show him, have him show me how to operate it. So, I right. Mean, so, go ahead and tell me what you're going to tell me. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that they didn't tell you that that track had been replaced and that over time, uh, within the next. Within the first 50 hours of a new track, they're supposed to readjust it. No, she's going to no. because she's going to stretch a little bit. That's yep. just the way they're going to do it. It's just the nature and of the then, beast. This is this is what happens when she stretches. Yeah, um, we're going to check the front idler roller and your bottom rollers just to make sure that there's no issue going on. But nine times out of ten, with a new track, if you don't check the tension, and and it's just like anything else when you put it. Yeah, it, they're going to stretch. Yeah, it's nothing but, you can but do. But I had no. I, I mean, I didn't even know how old it was. He, he said it had been replaced is all that he told me. He didn't say how long ago. Oh, no. Well, no, this is brand new. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, like Audie and myself, we, we've we done this we before. We do all the tracking. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys put that on there probably? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, uh, we're the only two that does tracks. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I know if we were, if it's a brand new track, Audie and I done them. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. And so, he knows what he's doing, and he's teaching me to know what I'm doing. Okay. So I know cool. we're... Yeah, I've been doing this almost 30 years, and he's my apprentice. So, <laughs> so <laughs> master apprentice. So, I mean, I'm, I'm learning the ropes here. I did, you know, I was literally right here, and I heard this weird noise when I when I turned. And probably and because this been... popped over. Yeah. Because so... you can you can see it starting to wear here real good. Yeah. So what it was doing? Because see, I'm an operator. Before I became a mechanic, I ran these and that. Should I? Let me ask you a question then. Should I not spin on on this? Should I? Oh, it's not gonna hurt it in so this time. I thought maybe that's what. No, that, no, no, that's no. What did it. That's probably and, what did it. Yeah. But it's because the track is stretched okay. because it was new. The other one didn't come. Had not come Correct. off. Yeah, and you didn't know to retension it. No, sir. So I'm gonna tell you now. It's really simple. When we put this back in, because you have to take this out okay. to compress it, and which is what we're gonna have to do okay. to get it to slack up a little bit. Okay. But every since it's already stretched once, and probably probably one more time, right? Probably one more time. Yeah say 15 to 20 hours just uh that's not take, very long for that, okay. no just take your just take one of these out yep. just like we did okay. just let it swing yep and just give it a pump it's a 13 16 that's it i, I mean it's a it's a just it's a fill it up with grease it's mm -hmm. a 13 millimeter okay and that's a 19 millimeter just pop it out and or half inch what the grease is order. doing is, is pressing it out correct mm -hmm. right. come on, come on. it works like a hydraulic cylinder right. if you're just using grease instead of oil just one pump is enough for something no 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 well, no, 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 no. It may so, be. So what he's talking about is inside here, right. what you see that hole in, right. pushing this idler, because this is what okay. it is out here, pushing it up. And you James gets so here. excited. I don't even and have look at this. That, right? No, you'll have to have it jacked up. But you look at the tension for the track. Is that about what it is? Yes, sir. That's what it should be on this side. Because Audie and myself, we yeah, made see, sure. Whenever you get them, they'll just kind of a firm yeah. wiggle yep. that's what you want my chainsaw is the same way i put a new chain on and literally if you run it for about a minute then you got to readjust it because it stretches right same print same print oh wow i just pushed it. right well that's because we got it out and when you come out the grease is coming out of it you're pulling that idler back what, what kind of grease should i use in this? it doesn't matter multi-purpose okay right. most grease i have, buy I, have buy. I bought two big grease guns so i'll, I'll uh, this is what we run it's okay. a Napa a general purpose. It ain't gonna hurt it because you're not doing wheel bearings with this. All you do is holding tension against the a track. Adjustment. But I mean, like the rest That's of it. it as well. Same thing. It's the same, same thing, thing because you're not. This is not a bearing, okay? If you was looking at your car and you was doing that for your bearings. Yes, I would say high temperature grease for wheel bearing and chassis. Okay. Because that's going to be running down the road at 50 miles an hour. This, this, 
run slower right. than a turtle. Right. And all you're going is up and down, and all you're pretty much doing is just greasing these right. pins wherever pins move like this, okay? Okay. Same principle. I have a question like for you also once you guys fix that, because I was just in the last 15 minutes, I was hearing like some creaking over here. That's probably just some settling. Hydraulic settling. Okay. Right. Don't, don't pay any yeah. attention. They, whenever we get them, we always test them to make sure that the cylinders aren't leaking internally and stuff. So we put them up and we do a drift test, which is exactly what it sounds like. You measure the drift over a certain period of time for internal leakage. We check them. Yeah. This has a little bit because I actually lifted something, I held it up. And within about an hour, it dropped. It dropped to a few inches. Yeah, yeah that's, that's usually normal. Acceptable. perfectly normal. That's usually right. acceptable because you're allowed some bleed past uh, of the internal leak. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Where's the key? It's already in it. All right. Go ahead. Get in it. Lift the bucket. Kick it up in the front. Okay. Just gonna release the pressure off of that. It's already got a good bit of pressure released off of it. I'm hoping it's enough we can just kick it up, put a bar on it, roll it backwards and kick it behind. I got the a bigger, I got a bigger bar if you need one. I can pull those. Set track a little more, Addy. Oh, I want you to roll a little bit. Let me know. Go. This is because we do it. Because you know what you're doing, right? <laughs> well, that front roller does not have any side to side thing. No, you're good. It's, it's real good. No, you're good. Well, that's just got rock or something. Yeah, it's that's got rocks gonna, it's it's got rocks it. back. Well, I, I can see shit falling out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing. I need to keep those clean, right? No, nah, it ain't hurt nothing. I mean, they'll, uh, uh, they'll self clean more or less. Okay. You I know, mean, this, while this you're on the job. Unless you're in some really, really nasty stuff, yeah. don't worry about it yeah. too much. Okay. When like, you're done, take your pressure washer. Yeah. It was muddy as hell out here yeah. a couple weeks ago. Stick what it in there. Is, yep. Pressure wash inside of there. Okay. Another thing too, a lot of people forget, pressure wash inside of here because that's where your actual uh, main idler okay. slides. Mm -hmm. And if it gets junk in there, it won't slide. It won't slide proper. And it can get cockeyed and it can wear your front idler out. Premature, and so we just, we just recommend that you try to keep it clean. Same thing with your engine; it is okay to pressure wash your engine. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Just they don't made, do it hot. <laughs> they made uh, me do that. They made me do that. And I was like, "Are you sure?" And like, "We've been doing it for years." Yep. Don't don't ever think that you're gonna hurt it. It's a piece of equipment. Nine times out of ten, you're not gonna hurt a thing. Just make sure it's not blazing hot. Yeah. And you ain't got your air, uh, your air duct or nothing like that open, your uh, your air intake filter or anything. Mm -hmm. Make sure all that stuff is closed and still good before you go to pressure washing because yeah. you don't want you don't want water inside. I mean, you don't necessarily want to stand there with your pressure washer on like the brain box yeah. sitting there just get the dust off the But you know, if you just spray it just to knock mud off of it you're totally fine that stuff's supposed to be sealed so it's yeah. not going to hurt it mm -mm. so you, you jacked it up you you put the the bucket down right mm -hmm. you lift it off mm -hmm. and you put it in reverse and you just backed up slightly just a little bit with, with somebody so now no it's a two-person job because you got to have somebody watching right. the back of the track or wherever you're putting the track on okay now the way this one was is not a bad uh, that's not even a jump track Okay. okay, that's moving one set of teeth off a roller. Okay, jump I mean, track is it flies off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, jump I've, track I've is when it comes completely off. I was off. on the service truck for 15 years and I've had them to where it was just me. He's seen some and stuff. I've had to take come alongs and hook it on this side of the track to the other side of the track, put tension on it, and then roll it. But I mean, on a service truck by yourself in the middle of nowhere, you got to get kind of creative sometimes, yeah. you know. 
Now these teeth come with, with, with this, right? Yes, oh, it's yeah. made into the track. Now you said they were, they were a little warm, but isn't this new? No, nope. no. Okay. All that is is just wearing the coat off. Okay. That's all you do is yeah. wearing the coat off. Now the reason why it was doing that is because it's a brand new track. Okay. It has to do, oh, sure. like my master said, it has to stretch. Okay. And we put them on there, and we leave a little tension on there because we know it's going to stretch. Okay. And like Audie explained to you before, the salesman should have said, "Hey." This needs to be checked again in how many errors because it's a brand new track. Yeah. It's going to stretch, yeah. you know. So he didn't do a good enough job with explaining of how the process worked, which that's his bad. But well, we made sure we did everything. Was yeah. When I right. talked to him, it sounded to. like he was just into say he didn't know much about it. Uh, that's, that's, that's that's the impression I got. Well, I didn't know that until another thing I too is you know our salesmen are good at selling, not so good at the mechanical aspect. And yeah. in the main, you go ahead and yes, go ahead and put But now together. what's happened is it's costing me money, so now I'm just like a little irritated. So. I get it. I, uh, we, we completely understand. That's why we're trying to be out here and we're trying to explain it to you. So this way you understand when we leave, yeah. you you have to do uh, prevent the maintenance on this. Yep. And that's why when... Did they tell you uh, your service intervals for your engine and all that when to change your engine oil and such? Um, I don't yeah. believe he did you any need to go over that no. with the body. Uh, no. I don't, I don't different manufacturers do. recommend different service intervals, but I've got, I think I've got the book in, in back there, so I'll, I'll okay. just pull that. I've only had it just for a few weeks, so, or a month. Yeah, um, my, my recommendation, because I'm used to seeing stuff that's been run in some of the most severe conditions, right. is 250 hours. Okay. So in 250 hours, okay. change your engine oil and filter. And 500 hours, change your engine oil, engine oil filter, and your fuel filters. I, I just, like I say, being on that service truck for so long, I have seen these things in the worst possible conditions. And what, what do you guys charge if I brought it in to have you do a service on it? Uh, Isn't it $100 an hour? It's $98 an hour shop time. Well, I mean, it's $100 bills on each yeah, yeah, right. But so, is it is it is, is it take an hour or two hours or how long? Is it, it, it depends. <laughs> okay. It depends on exactly what's going on, what we got to do. Okay. Sometimes it even depends on how much I got to wash it. Right. Because this thing right here, I remember this thing vividly because this was my baby. Okay, this was mine because I got both TL tens. Yep. I, um, I almost bought the first one and then, and then the, that one DPF, pulled out the, the, the DPF in it was bad. We had to have it washed and uh, gone through a little bit but on this one this thing come out of a beach sand and i had to wash this thing you can ask my master five times i had to wash this thing and literally uh, lift the cab up scrape and scrape bucket after bucket that's and not uncommon them. for these though yeah but because they because people just use them and they don't clean right that's what they do they so let it sit. that's kind of our thing is when we get them you know we go through them make sure everything's functional clean them up as best we can mm -hmm. That way, it's, it's you know, relatively trouble-free for y'all. Yeah. Awesome. I appreciate all the advice, guys. Uh, we just try to be honest and because we know how frustrating it is. You get out here, you just spending money on your equipment, and you ain't even had it a month yet, and you're calling us. Right. Now, watch that front idler out there. Yeah. It'll push itself out. And all you do is add and grease to it. We're going to show you how to set tension on them, right? Mm -hmm. Just so you know. But you need to get you a grease gun of some sort so you can add grease to this thing. So whenever you get your next 20 hours on this, you can check the tension again. Sounds like, like you need one of those out of it. Because that's a lot of pumping, actually. We love this thing. Yeah, it, it's nice. It ain't cheap. Yeah. All right. Now, my master, Audie, has always taught me. And I learned this in school because I went to college for this as well. Um, you want to watch your bottom here, okay? Okay. Because you're not worried about it until you start seeing it come up. Right. When it starts to come up, you want about an inch to a half, a half an inch to uh -huh. an inch before it starts to touch your rollers. Okay. And then you start checking your tension. Okay. And then you want to make sure it's good and good and taut before you. Yep. Uh, continue on.
They do when it sits down. I see. Add more. Just a little bit. Get it too tight, what happens? It'll just stretch the track a little. Stretch the track a little. And all you do if you want it to get done is take that back out, let it come back out, right. put it back in, and then okay. add more grease. Okay. That looks pretty oh, good. Yeah. Alright, let's set her down. Let me run it through a pacing yep. Set it down and run it around a minute. We'll just leave the window open. Yeah. So one of the one of the issues that I had on this from the beginning that boy it just caused me a lot of problems. Uh, in fact, when I got it, it, these weren't hooked. These uh, these quick release. This one hangs out for some reason. I don't know why. They weren't hooked at all. In fact, when he showed up, neither one of them were hooked. So man, they are they are tough. This one right here is just I got it. All right, um, run it around. Because I know, because I know I worked on these. All right, buddy, go ahead and run it around. We'll check the tension and we'll lift it up and we'll grease that point good. It's stuck. Is it all the way down yet? Yeah. Drive out of it. Alright. It doesn't hurt to leave that open for right now? No. Okay. We're just gonna run it around. Okay. Come back, check Just get a couple paces on it.
Hey, it? before you hop out, is that that uh, got a, a float option? You see it in there? I don't know, but I can check it out. I can run it a few more minutes and find it. If it, if it does get one, I'll find it. Okay. Do you use that much? Or do you just... Uh, now I've just been dropping it and dragging it. Yeah, well, I mean, usually what I do is I'll just drop it, pick my arms up a little bit yep. so your arms off. Right. Because if not, you'll pile up, a, yep, I know. Pile up against the bottom yeah, of your bucket. I tip the front a little and bit. And tip yeah. the front just a tad bit and then and rock it back. Oh, I don't like it. And tip it so that I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, usually uh, usually you'll get better if you keep the machine because that right there is not how to grade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I was an operator for a long time, Bubba. This is just one of the things. It's just, we got to... Because... Now, usually when you're doing that, you want to, uh, like, now the only time I'll pick my bucket up like that is if I'm pushing brush, because this way you use right. your bucket as right, a right, shield, right. you know yeah, what I mean? Otherwise, it'll go, it'll in, the, go in the cab with you. That's about the only time I'll pick my bucket up like that. I keep my right. bucket to the ground. That's way you get all your power here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. Sorry, him and I are both operators. He, uh, he worked a lot with Katrina, and I've just done it for a living. Yeah, they send you to do storm cleanup, and then they say, "Oh, hey, uh, we had a we had a bulldozer operator who uh, decided he was homesick. He wanted to go home." Okay, well, how long? Well, just until I find somebody else. Which was the whole day, good time he was there. <laughs> that turned into three months. Well, I tell you what, I love it. I mean, my wife, she's lot, like last month. I haven't hardly seen her. She's like, "Are you out? I'm, I'm out sometimes." good part of it all day dude. oh yeah yeah messing with like i just love it <laughs> dude man i mean and that's why i've done this work so long the problem is you're gonna do it seasonally it's only by the weather yeah. you know because you can't get in here and yeah, mud will yeah i can't grade mud right you know what i'm saying so yeah, you just something slide with them you can oh well <laughs> you ain't messing with wheel butter yet <laughs> <laughs> all right okay um, you can go a whole lot more place with this thing in the mud than you can with yeah. wheel butter let me close that window before yes, you do that uh anything you Tad bit got dirt you won't move, uh, graded out so I can figure out float option. Um, anything up up above the yeah, pad yeah, up there? Yeah, I mean I've been in between I, the trees and yeah, stuff. I've yeah, seen a little bit yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. no problem. Like I said, I was an operator, so I just I just want to figure out your machine. If 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 we do have a float option, I'll find it. Okay. Hmm. May not have to. Might be here right there. I don't know. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that was in my pocket. It was in your pocket? And I sat down. <laughs> yeah. I, I put it in my back pocket and then I'm walking around and I sat oh. down and crunch. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. It happens. I think that's the fight I need. I didn't tighten it up tight. No. Might be from the dirt. More like it's it just out. the dirt. Yep. That's the fastest we've ever put a track on before in my life. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I think now. I got I don't know. We gotta give ourselves credit because we end up getting that one. We put we put a whole set, so we put both tracks on a skid steer in an hour. Like both sides yeah. in an hour. It was 30 minutes a side. Oh, Me and Audie. Even that long. No, no. I think I think the majority of it was setting up, getting your camera set up. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, we're uh, actually we've gotten pretty good. I appreciate you guys coming out so quickly. I, I've got to order some stuff coming in later today, and I need it. I need it. Yeah, we're gonna do our best. Ready to rock and roll? Yep. All right. I'm going to play with it here for a second see if I can't find that float before I get to messing That's with it.
Well, uh, I'll just keep those greased and keep the mud out of them as much as I can. Yeah. I'll keep working them and yeah. uh, I'll haul at you guys if it doesn't get any better. Maybe I'll have to replace these springs. Is that what you're talking about, replacing these? Well, it's not necessarily a replacement. It's just it's an adjustment on these springs here. Yeah. I mean, personally, I like the detents tight because, like I said, you can get to work in your machine, right. not have to worry. hit yeah. something, it pop out of the detent, and then you're not paying attention because you're trying to do your grade, and it comes <laughs> up and then... It potentially can come off of this side and bend this one. Yep. So I like a tight detent, yeah, I do too. personally. Because right. I'm going to tell you, I've taken machines like this and run into some rocks you didn't know about. 
And I'm talking about sitting there and just bloom and this thing will throw you into the lap bar. Like it hurts you, it hurts you. It, it knock the wind out That's of you. I wear my seat belt. Yep. And then, then you ain't got to worry about nothing on the front end. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. right. believe me, when I operate this thing, I make, I make her sweat. <laughs> That's what she's made to do. She's made to sweat for me, so I ain't got to work so hard. Yeah. yeah. That's the end of this one. Y'all have a great day.